There may be times that you need to add comments to cells. Comments are useful to describe certain values or explain the reasons behind why the value is out of the ordinary. For example, I have a section in my budget for miscellaneous spending, for when I buy items that aren't a normal expense in my monthly budget. The title miscellaneous spending doesn't exactly tell me what I spent or plan on spending my money on. Therefore, I use comments to itemize what I plan on purchasing out of my miscellaneous spending account. Let's do an example. In this example, I have created a simple monthly budget with an account titled miscellaneous spending. You can see that in March, I plan on spending $700 on something, but only I know what that is. Just in case I forget, I'm going to add a comment. Step 1. First select cell E10. Step 2. Now click on the Review tab and in the Comments group click New Comment. Step 3. Now type what miscellaneous spending is being spent on. For me, it's going to be a kayak. Step 4. Now select the word Owner inside the comment box and type your name. Make sure that there is a colon after your name. Step 5. Click on one of the boxes on the border of the comment box and drag the box until it is resized to a proper size. Once the comment is resized, click outside of the comment box to finish adding your comment. Now I'm going to show you how to edit comment text in Excel. Step 1. Activate the cell that has the comment. Right click and from the shortcut menu select Edit Comment. Step 2. Select the text inside the comment box and then in the Home tab change the font style to Calibri and the font size to 12. Now I'm going to show you how to format comments. Step 1. Click on the Edit Comment command which is located in the Comment group in the Review tab. Step 2. Now hold your cursor over the edge of the comment box. Right click and from the shortcut menu click on Format Comments. The Format Comments dialog box will appear. The Format Comments dialog box offers you many different options. Here you can change the size, color, style, and alignment of the text, the border, the color, the background pattern and transparency of the comment box, the size of the comment box, and much more. How to add an image inside of a comment. You can also add images inside your comments. This could be useful in situations where there is a language barrier. Step 1. Activate the cell that contains the comment. Step 2. Now right click and select Edit Comment from the shortcut menu. Step 3. Hold your cursor over the edge of the comment box. Right click and from the shortcut menu select Format Comments. Step 4. Click on the Colors and Lines tab, then click the Color drop-down arrow and click on Fill Effects from the menu. The Fill Effects dialog box will appear. Step 5. Click on the Picture tab in the Fill Effects dialog box and then click Select Picture. Note: In Excel 2013, a window will appear titled Insert Pictures. Here you have the option of browsing your computer files, searching clip art from office.com, browsing your SkyDrive, and searching through images on Bing.com. When you click Select Pictures in Excel 2010, a window containing your computer files will automatically pop up where you can browse your computer files for images. Step 6 for Excel 2013. Click in the search box in the office.com clip art option and search for kayaks. Choose your image and click insert. Then in the fill effects dialog box click OK and finally in the format comments dialog box press OK. Now you should have an image of a kayak in your comment. How to change comment shapes. You can also change the shape of a comment in Excel. To change the shape of your comment, follow these steps. Step 1. 
Click on the drop down arrow to customize your quick access toolbar and click on more commands. The Excel options dialog box will appear. Step 2. From the choose commands from menu, select drawing tools and format tab and then from the menu on the left select change shape and click the add button and press OK. Now you have added the change shape command to your quick access toolbar. Step 3. Now activate the cell that contains the comment. Click on edit comment and the ribbon and then click the border in the comment box. Step 4. Now in the quick access toolbar click on the change shape command and a drop down menu will appear offering you many different shape options. Now you just click on the shape you prefer and you will be done. To change the shape back, just follow the previous steps and select the rectangular shape from the change shape menu. How to print comments in Excel. By default, Excel does not print your comments when you print out a worksheet. If you want to print your comments with your worksheet, follow these steps. Step 1. In the Page Layout tab in the Page Setup group, click the Dialog Box Launcher, which is located at the bottom right part of the group. The Page Setup dialog box will appear. Step 2. Click on the Sheet tab in the Page Setup dialog box, and then in the drop-down list next to the comments, select either At End of Sheet or As Displayed on Sheet. Click OK or click the Print button. How to delete comments. To delete comments, activate the cell that contains the comment. Right click and from the shortcut menu select delete comment. You can also delete comments by activating the cell that contains the comment and clicking on the delete command which is located in the comments group in the review tab.